I'm sure you've noticed by now that everyone is using captions on their videos. For social media, TikTok, Instagram Reels, whatever it is, you see these captions on every video these days. And for good reason. I've heard that it helps your attention. It really helps when people aren't listening to the video, which happens way more than you think it would. What you can do is you can either go in and add text layer by text layer for each word, or you can do what I'm about to show you, which is using an app that works within Final Cut so that you can have it on your timeline, but it automates the process so that your captions happen automatically, but they're also still in your timeline. Cause I know there's some apps you can get on your phone that will caption it for you, but you don't have as much customization because it's once you've left the editor and it's also going through another round of compression usually. So here's a way to do it to where it adds it inside of your Final Cut timeline. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so now that you guys are over here, what you wanna do is head over to the App Store. There'll be a link in my description to this app. It's called Captionator. By the way, this is not sponsored at all. I just use this all the time when making social media content. So I thought, why not share the love? So once you open it up, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see some prompts on how to install it. It's literally gonna be one giant button that says install profiles here or something like that. You click that and it will do the rest for you. It's gonna automatically add it to your Final Cut export settings so that you are ready Ready to go. So now I'll show you exactly what it does by opening up a project that I was recently doing just to show you guys. So here's a project of a few people talking. And as you can see, there is no text on the screen whatsoever. But let's say I want to add captions for social media to make this perform a little bit better. What you're going to do after you've installed the app and went through the setup process, all you're going to do is hit this little share icon up here. And then what you're going to do is select captionator. It'll automatically be there for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through here. You can see what it's doing. All it does is it pulls the audio file from out from under your video. And what it's going to do is it's going to listen to that file and it's going to write you your text layer and your captions for Final Cut Pro. So all you're going to do is hit next. What this is doing is it's exporting the captionator, it's listening to it, and you'll know that it worked once uh, it finishes because it's gonna open captionator back up to you and let you select a few things. Um, like I said, you can customize this and I'll show you in a second how I customize it, but there's some presets within captionator that you can also just choose. So. I don't really know what these stand for, but basically it'll show you a little preview. You can do custom and do it within here. But what I tend to do is just click the top one um, because it's pretty close to what I would normally do for captions. I like to go in and do a, this build in build out is just animation. So if you want it to animate in and animate out, that will do that for you automatically. I like to have a little outline color. Um, so I usually will, make sure that this is about 12. That just makes it to where that text has a drop shadow built in once it's done. And then once you're ready, all you're gonna do is hit generate. Let that generate. I just put it on my downloads, put it wherever you want. Then what you wanna do is open the most recent project on your computer. Once you've done that, you click into this project and there you go. All it's done is found every single word that is said throughout that video and it will put it in there. And I kept a build in so you can see it kind of animates in. Some of them are gonna be too big like that. So here's what I like to do. I like to go through and select all. You can ignore these up top because what those are is those are those actual captions which no one wants to use. So I don't even copy those over. But what I do is I click in here and then I go over to my settings and I make sure that I scale it down a little bit I kind of finesse with this a little bit. If you want to change the font, you can also do that without throughout the whole thing by just clicking in here and changing it to whatever font you're wanting. I'm going to keep it default for now, just uh, for learning purposes. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is if you ever see one that's too big, I go through and I'll make this a little lower, but here's what's cool about this. So you can go through and if you want to change the color of one, so let's say realtors, you want to change that to something that's a little more like pop, then you can do that and you can change the size. And now when it pops in, it'll be, it'll be completely different than the rest. So if you want to make sure that something like sticks out more than something else, you can go in and you can select the individual text layer. I like to, Go in here and drop down the position of this just a little bit so that it's not in the middle of the screen, obviously. And now I'm ready to go. So what you're gonna do is copy this, head over to here, and then paste it. 
And what's cool is you wanna paste it from the front of the timeline because when you paste it from the front of the timeline, it will automatically sync up. So, so you see, and then I go through and I watch it. And so all I'm having to do now is just size things down to where they fit in here. And then if you want, you can kind of scale them up so that they fill the screen. So all I'm doing is going through and I'm checking to make sure that every single thing is popping in, spelled right. Sometimes it misspells uh, the text. That's just Siri, I guess, which is what this uses. So all I go through here and do is I bring the size down a little bit. There we go, it fits. And yeah, there you go. You've basically got captions for your whole video. And like I said, you can customize this as much as you want. You don't have to do a drop shadow if you're not really a fan of it. But what's cool is you can go through here and it's already just built it out. So if I wanna turn the outline off, I can do that within here. If I wanna make it to where there's not a different color face, I can do that in here. So that's my favorite thing about this is that you are gonna get no compression that's extra because you're not exporting this and bringing it to a phone app and then exporting it from the phone app. So you're not getting three rounds of compression like some people are doing. You also have all the customization of Final Cut. You can do transitions and all that within it. So you can do this before you're even completely done with the video. And what else is nice about this is you have complete control over the text in the way that you know how to do. So you're not learning a new app. You're literally just using Final Cut captions or Final Cut text. So the text layers are all the same. You can do all sorts of different text layers within it. You can customize it exactly how you want it. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be posting more content like this, more educational stuff, some more fun stuff here in the future. So hit that subscribe button, don't miss that. So thank you guys and I'll see you later.